when you went off on an expedition, you, you went off into a little world of your own, and that made life quite simple. It's the fact that you're going up into the into the heights, you're going into this clarity, you're going into these distant views. It's um, it's immensely stimulating. You look out and you're looking at this extraordinary kind of scene and view, and you're looking into the far distance and this mountains rolling into the distance as well. And however tired you are, you just, you're just amazed and wonderment at the sheer beauty of the scene that you've actually been seeing. And so that this really transforms it. Yourself. Crisp cold is actually a good feel to it. And everything is very clear as well. You deal with every circumstance as it comes. If you're in a tent, it's bloody horrible because the tent is flapping around. There's a constant risk of it blowing down. But inside a snow cave, the beauty is once you've dug that snow cave, it's completely quiet. You feel completely secure. You can't hear the wind. And so you can be completely relaxed within a snow cave. slow because of that and they tend to dominate absolutely everything you do because of that and it makes it the simplest thing becomes a desperate effort it's a struggle that's part of it and you put up with them. and I think the thing is that if you're involved in something that you really wanted to do and there's so many other things going on you actually forget and of course, once you get back home, you tend to forget all the really awful things and you remember the good things. If you're in the wilds and you're at altitude, the cold actually bites into you with a greater kind of ferocity. And that is something that you never forget. Mm -hmm. 
Being afraid is a, is a very important kind of emotion in that it says, be careful, this is dangerous. But then you've got to know how to control that fear. The, the danger actually sharpens you up. You're inspired, I think perhaps most of all, by the beauty of the mountain. And you're inspired by the entire situation. It's completely still. The stillness and the clarity of the air is quite extraordinary. It's just such a delight, actually, where you've been up in that kind of cold, very uniform environment and suddenly you're down at sea level and you're down amongst fields and people and everything else and the contrast is huge and it's wonderful and particularly when you've been up there for a long time suddenly you're back into a, a comfortable environment and a, an environment where you don't have to concentrate the whole time a process of learning and if life is easy it's actually flat and simple and easy you don't learn anything if you ever do face real adversity you're not in a state to be able to cope with it If you're never thrilled, life is grey, it's fat. Whereas if you're thrilled, if you're thrilled by things that are around you, you then, you know, you're gonna function that much better. And your, your, your heart lifts, your, you just kind of almost rise <laughs> into the air. And I, I think that, that that's what's so important. The thing is, get out there. Just immerse yourself in it and joy in it. And if you can do that, your life's going to be richer. <laughs>